So one of the fun parts about building an engine is chasing every single um, threaded hole in it. And the reason you do that is because debris and sealant and stuff like that gets in there. And uh, when you're torquing things down to an exact and specific uh, um, torque spec, you want it to be exact. And if there's debris in there, it's gonna throw those numbers off a little bit and you may not be torquing it down as much as you thought. Um, also, if you have debris in one of these holes and it is a closed hole on the other side, when you put a new screw in there and you free up that debris and push it down, it's gonna put pressure on it. Sometimes you can actually crack uh, soft aluminum like this. So here's a nice clean chase or a tap, I should say. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chase uh, these threads in one of them and I'll show you what it looks like after. Can't remember if I did this one, so I'll just do this one right now, just to show you. And the hole actually looks clean looking into it. So maybe I can give you guys a shot of that real fast. So you're looking through it right there. Focus, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks, looks pretty clean, right? See, looking at those threads. All right, so let's see how clean that is in a minute. All right, and as you can see, this is this is relatively clean right here. Focus back. gonna do and if anybody else is doing this at home it's a, a six by one so it's a six millimeter by uh, one pitch for the thread it's not it's not going in terribly it's, I mean, I've had definitely worse I'll just put my finger on the other side to know when I've gone through You can, I don't know if the camera's got it, but you can already see the debris coming up. So, look at all that. Look at all this stuff that's on there. You got a little bit of metal from bad castings and stuff like that, and then you got sealant and all that stuff, so you wanna get all that out, so it's nice clean thread and what you do is on the other side to get it real clean is you'll take a die like this and you'll take the nuts and what you'll do is I had Tommy do this and he runs every single one through this and it cleans all of the threads on the bolts so that those are nice and clean as well now, if you've ever wondered how uh, prototype engines are made, they just cast the metal, they drill the holes like this, and then they actually use a tap to put the threads in the first time. That, those, those taps will actually cut, so make sure you get these right. You know, if it's not fitting right, you can use a pitch gauge, which I got one right over here. So, all this is, is a bunch of pieces of metal that have teeth on them. If I could get any of them out, that'd be super great. Good thing I can just edit this out, which I probably won't because I'm lazy. Just kidding. Totes will. Let's use a pick. Push them out, there we go. All right, so let's see if this even goes up to the number I need. 0.8, this is metric because because it's 2019, that's why. I can't stand using SAE. All right, so this side doesn't go up high enough, 0.75. And I already know what size this is, so I'll do a couple, but might as well go onto the side that I need anyway. All right, so that's 0.9 right there. So you put the teeth up to this and 
it's pretty close, but I think we can do better. You know what it'll help too? Put a little light on the subject. So, here's the point nine, and it's close. But when you do the 1.0, it fits perfectly right there in those teeth. So that's how you uh, that's how you measure. In case you're not sure, because uh, if you get it wrong, you're going to actually re-tap the, the holes, or if it's the bolts, you're going to re-thread the bolt. So you got to be real careful when you're doing these. Make sure you got it right. So on this, it'll say, this is a, a six millimeter by 1.0. And I also looked it up on the internet too, just in case, because that would be a nightmare. Um, RX-7s and RX-8s are notoriously famous for not being able to, uh, well, famous for leaking oil. At least mine have been, um, probably goes to tell you how good I am at building engines. Uh, but with all these multiple wafers on uh, the engine and how it's designed, there's so many different opportunities for flex and uh, uh, for you know it to pull off the oil pan. Um, my RX7, one of my RX7s has uh, an oil pan brace, which still didn't help. And once you have it in the engine and facing the ground, it is really hard to clean this whole surface because you always have constantly oil dripping down. Um, so your real solid opportunity, honestly, is to get it right the first time when you're building the engine. So I really don't want to have an oil leak. It just gets so gross. You can see all that, see all that junk on there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see, that, see all that crud. Focusing on it a little bit. So yeah, that's the fun part of this. So. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys.